It is a web of deceit and a movie-like elaborate thieving scheme that the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation says was masterfully designed and concealed from the books of Chase Bank that it currently manages under receivership. In suit papers filed before the Mele Money Court, the troubled bank is seeking to recover more than 6.5 billion shillings from the former directors and shareholders and prime assets acquired by nine individuals and their 11 companies under pretext that they were owned by Chase Bank. Topping the wanted list is Zavrula Khan, the former chairman of Chase Bank, who the suit papers describe as the architect of the scheme. His longtime group CEO, Duncan Kabui, features prominently as his right-hand man oiling the Chase Bank gravy train. This, the receiver manager's avas, was delivered through a number of third-party companies disguised as special-purpose vehicles, but whose benefits funded personal fortunes for the accused. From the windfall generated from the schemes, it is alleged the beneficiaries funded lifestyles that mirrored the trappings typical of billionaire playboys. Zaf, for instance, as the mastermind is known among friends and industry players, floated in a sea of fine things and prime properties funded in part by hefty bonuses and consultancy fees he awarded himself for his own version of a job well done. But the petitioner claims this was contrary to the banking industry corporate governance guidelines. So hardworking and industrious was Zaf in his own estimation that over a course of his 10 years at the helm of the bank, he wrecked in some 2.2 billion shillings from the bank in personal expenses. These included a one-off bonus payment of 1 billion shillings, which was to be staggered for a period of five years, but that was paid in a record 45 days. Some 75.6 million shillings was also paid to him after stepping down as the chairman as consultancy fee in monthly installments of $50,000. Chesbank claims Zaf subsequently embarked on property binge buying, including treating his wife Sheila Khan to a Ferrari Dino that cost 45 million shillings. As if this was not enough, Zaf also bought the love of his life another vehicle, Chevrolet Covet, the limited edition that only left him 12.7 million shillings poor. Both cars are registered in the U.S. In collusion with his then-group CEO, Kaboy, Zaf laid out a well-crafted plan that saw money from the bank siphon to set up companies through which they transacted private business. Some of these companies include Genghis Capital, Renascimento Global, 950 Limited, Boulevard Properties, and 740 Investments, firms which have been enjoined in the suit. The case seeking to recover the money from the directors only comes two weeks after Chase Bank's receivership was extended by another six months by the regulator and bid offer released for those interested in injecting capital to it. The bank was placed under receivership in April 2016 following an overnight run on deposits. The CBK then said the decision was aimed at protecting it from collapse. It has since resumed operations under statutory management. These suspect dealings involving the set former directors and shareholders of the lender puts to question audit and regulatory procedures in the country's banking sector. Patrick Igunza, JKL, Nairobi.